tool is a about a hundred year old tool used for adjusting um, hair springs for pocket watch balances. Uh, what this tool does is it times the hairspring to the master. The cylinder here is the master, and and it is set to eighteen thousand beats per hour. And so this master, as you can see, I'll just move it ever so slightly. When you move the master like this, it moves with the hairspring or with the balance. So the balance is on the hot hairspring. So what you do is you pinch the hairspring with this device here and you adjust it and center it. I'm going to show you how to do that because it's not easy. So you're going to have to bear with me. I have to switch into my glasses. I bought a pair of times three glasses and then I put a, a, a loop on top of that which is really good because then you can work and then pop the loop down. So I have to have a look at this while I'm doing it. I'm trying not to talk too loud or I'll, I'll overdrive the, uh, the uh, microphone I'm using. So what you have here, I'll turn it around the other way and I'll zoom in a bit here, is you have the Right here is the stud, right there. And then where I've pinched it here is where the regulator arm would typically be. So as you're adjusting a watch and you're flipping it from side to side, this regulator arm, it's two, two pieces of metal, slides along here and adjusts the virtual length of the hairspring. So what you do is you pinch this just up from where the stud is and if there's no stud you just pinch it anywhere and you know whether um, your watch is going fast or slow so what I'll do is I'll show you so this is pinched right now and I'm going to try to line this up I'm going to zoom out just a bit so you can see this a little bit better so I have pinched it already and then what I do is you press the button on the side here to stop the uh, the master hairspring in the middle and then I just use my finger on the edge just ever so slightly here and you have to make sure that the the, the pivot on the bottom of this balance is just touching the um, the glass that it's resting on so this is this is a thick piece of glass here actually really thick now when I move this from side to side you'll see that the uh, balance moves with the master okay I'm going to do this like that there we go and I would typically videotape this in slow motion because we got the technology nowadays so I've moved it and I put my iPhone on slow motion there's my iPhone so what I'll do is I'll stop this again and show you so stop this one and then I'll just grab this one with my finger just a tad and that's not going to harm it at all if you're really pristine you probably want to wear those balance cocks or whatever but I'm not so I'm not going to so I set my iPhone on slow motion and then I will actually videotape this I'm going to do this from the top just to just so I can get the shot while I'm continuing the video here so I'll just do this and then back and forth and I'm videotaping it right now. So while it's being videotaped, I can show you whether the master is faster, it rhymes, than the balance I have set. So I'm going to move this back and actually show you how that works. So there's my player. And if you see this, it's a little foggy here. So if you watch that closely, see if I can actually show there you can see it a little bit there there we go and the it looks as though the master on the bottom is moving faster than the balance it's pretty hard to see on the uh, camera but I'm trying here so what I need to do see how it's picking up pace what I need to do is is shorten the hairspring so, so back to this again. 
So I've got it's still moving around a bit here. So what happened here was the master was moving, was gaining on the balance. So I'll show you how this is done. It's pretty tricky actually. Now I kind of know where the, uh, the where I grab the master. So I've got to uh, first of all release it, and there might be a way of marking it, but I haven't figured that out yet. So I'm going to grab the hair, the stud, really hard, and I'm going to release it. And I'm going to pinch it a little more inward, like this, and then straighten it out a bit, like so. And all you do is just move the stud up just a little bit, and that's in this pretty much in the center. Now, as you see, they're not really aligned, so I'm going to twist this. So you press the top of this to release it. And then you can move, while you're doing that, you can actually move this whole top mechanism as well from here. So if I were to move this like this, right, you can see that how that's way off center. And if I were to twist this like this, you can see how it's now it's way off. So what I need to do, and if I push this up like this, and then raise it up like that. The balance is just hanging there. It's forward. It's not aligned at all. So, so what I do is I align this by first centering it. And what I try to do is is center the arm first, like that. So just turn this ever so slightly. And then you just zoom out just a bit here so you can see it. This is just in case you don't know what a pocket watch looks like. And then I'll move this this mechanism, just twist it forward like that until I have it pretty much in the center. And I'm eyeballing it because I'm videotaping this as well, so it's pretty tricky. And then I have to turn this again. Let me just stop this from rattling here. Turn this just a bit like that. And this is too, too much here, a little bit more. All right, like that. Then I have to lower it so it's touching the glass. There, that's touching the glass right there. And now it's not it's not centered, it's too far forward, so I have to move it back like this. And then I would typically just look straight down on top here and have a look at it. And again, very difficult to do while you're videotaping. So I've reattached it inward a little bit more. And I'm not sure if this will be, be uh, in sync. But I'm going to try it again. And I'm going to videotape it again from the top. And see if I can get a good slow motion video out of this that I can show you. Because it's pretty tricky. Pretty tricky. So here we go. I'll just start the video and then turn the and there we go. I'm going to see exactly how close that is from being centered. All right, it's enough. Still not on, so I've got to, uh, as you can see, and it's very possible that the balance is now moving faster than the master before the master was moving faster than the balance. So I'm going to move this back and I'm going to show you the video. And hopefully you can see the video. I'm just going to zoom in like that. There we go. That's not too bad. And then turn, as you can see, there we go. And the two are kind of in sync there. And then I let it go. And as you can see, the master's yeah, slightly faster than the balance again. So I'd have to grab that spring and move it over just a bit more. Yeah, you can see how that's working, right? So there we go. 
So I'll turn that off and bring this back again. And see, it's still moving. It sits on the glass, so it moves really well, right? So, so I'll stop that again. And now I'm going to zoom in while I grab it ever so slightly. See, I'm not sure if that's going to zoom well, so I'm going to zoom out just a bit here like that. And so I have to move it even a little bit more, which is going to be pretty tricky. Grab the stud nice and tight. And then one more shot here. So I've grabbed it really well. I'm going to make sure it's not hitting the lower part of the spring. No, it's good. So once again, I have to lower it because I actually pinched it a little high and make sure it's sitting on there. And then I have to align it again, like so. And make sure it's aligned. I think it's still wiggling around here. I need to lower it a bit. Hopefully that's not too low. And I'm going to raise it up just a tad. There we go. Now, I'll videotape it one more time. And if this doesn't work, that's good enough, I think, because I have to um, you get the idea. It's a bit of a tricky activity, so let me just start the video. And then swing this. No, it's not touching the glass well. So I'm going to stop it. There we go. Now it's touching the glass well. And I'm going to stop it for a second here. Just press the button on the side here and then it stops. And I just sort of get interfere with it a bit here and then it's fairly lined up there. And I'll start it again. And wait till that bounce settles down a bit more. And then start it up. Videotape it. And then I'm going to stop the video. All right. And I'm going to move this out of the way. Just let it run out. Now here's the last, the last of the Mohicans, the last video. Let me line this up here for you. So and let's just see how close this is. All right. Here we go. And you should see if it's at least close to the mark and here we go it's swinging back and forth it's pretty good so far it doesn't look like um, anything is faster than the other thing so now I stopped it and as you can see it looks absolutely aligned which is great. So that is success. That's what success looks like. So it's just a the master's just a tad faster. So that's not going to make much difference. So now what you do. So as you can see, I've got this the right length of the hairspring, right? So bring this back for a second. It's still rattling nicely. So let me just back it up a bit. So that, that is set perfectly now. So and you can test it again if you want to, but not necessary. This base here stays where it is. When you swing this, you grab the end here, and you just go back and forth and then swing it like that. And then it swings, the master swings back and forth, and you watch the arms. Like I said, you can visually see it, but you can, why not use the iPhone? Why not use technology if you've got it? So the iPhone's perfect for this. So we videotape it from the top, see what's faster. Now let me just stop this 
I'm just pressing the side button very lightly here. Um, and then stop the, the balance for a second. Now, where it's attached here is where the regulator arm would be. Let me see if I can find it. I'm not sure if I have a watch movement here that's got a, uh, that I can show you this here. Uh, this one's all taken apart. Needs a new balance staff. Um, I need to find a movement that I can just open up for a second. Maybe this one here. So, uh, this one here. Yeah, okay. That's not too bad. This is an old pocket watch. Vintage. And I'm going to zoom in just a bit here so you can see what I'm talking about. There we go. So, in this case, the hairspring stud is right here. Right? If I get a little closer, I'm hoping this thing will... will uh, eh, what the heck. I'll just leave it like this. So the hairspring stud is right here. It's attached. And then this here is the regulator arm. And the bottom of this regulator arm, the hairspring goes around in a circle like this. Uh, underneath this regulator arm, there's two pins that look kind of like my tweezers, like that, and kind of open. And these pins are downward. And when I move this back and forth, the pins ride along the hairspring, right? And they change the virtual length of the hairspring. So again, if the hairspring is shorter, the balance will move faster. If the hairspring is longer, the balance will move slower. So what I've done here is, is you have to once I've got the where this the perfect position is for this hairspring, I could mark this with a uh, red pen. I could, you know, just touch it with a red pen so I can see where it is, like a, mar a sharpie. Or I could just take a ruler and measure the distance if I want to. But I'm going to mark that position because when I put this hair this balance back into the balance cock, the stud is here. This is effectively at position zero, which is perfect 18,000 beats per hour. So you want to have the regulator being moved a little bit, being able to move the regulator. And so, it, so the two pins I talked about earlier will slide along this hairspring, either uh, on the left or the right side of where I got it pinched right now, left or right side. And that'll give me some play to actually speed it up and slow it down later on. If if when I put this balance and hairspring back into the balance cock and this pinching position is far over and I've kind of got no play at all, like it's this, it's a, the regulator arm is way over, like bent way over, that means I can't adjust this watch at all. I may be able to slow it down a lot, but I'll never be able to speed it up. And, and uh, the opposite of that is if it's over on the other side, then I'll never be able to make it go the other way. So. So you, when you put this back in a balance, you can actually see that the hairspring stud is where it is. You put that, th this back into the balance, and that's where the regulator arm should be. Now, normally, this is for studding a hairspring. So this stud wouldn't be here. You just have a hairspring, and you've got to leave enough, um, uh, you've got to leave enough hairspring to stud the hairspring on the end and put the pin in, and then have this distance, and this be the exact center where the regulator arm is. So again, You'd want to take, you just take this one here. This is an old watch, so it's maybe not that good to see. But this regulator arm would be in the center, like so, like that. And then the distance from the, from where these little regulator arms are, these, I can't remember what they're called, but little, two little um, arms that go down. The distance between here and the stud is what you want to be measuring. Well, this is absolutely in the center. So if I've pinched this perfectly and there's leftover spring, I have to measure the distance between that left, that's where that pinch is, where the stud's going to be, and how much I want to leave. So I want to leave just a bit, probably about, about uh, 10 millimeters of hairspring on the end before I stud it. And then I'll be able to stud the hairspring that way. So, so maybe later I'll make a a better another video on how to stud the hairspring but this is how this tool works anyway this is how you regulate it and just a little bit more about the tool here 
if I unscrew this here and this here on the end, I can actually take this master out and you can get other masters for this. I'm not sure where, but you can get other masters. This is timed to 18,000 18, per hour, which is excellent for pocket watches. They're basically all 18,000. There's some, I think, 16 or something uh, that are really old. Um, and again, this little, I'll just zoom out a bit here. This little um, knurled knob here allows you to raise it up like that. So I'm raising it up or lowering it like so. And there's a friction collar right here that tightens it. And then this one here lets you go left or right for regulating it to center it. And then you, you grab the top of this and it allows you to turn it completely like this. And then again, that's for centering it. And then when I lower this, just drop the, the uh, balance down. When I lower that like that, it lets go of the balance completely. And there's the balance with the hairspring. Um, and let's put that in the back. So these pinchers basically open up like so. As you can see, and then grab the hairspring. Uh, I think they got this from designing birds. It's like a bird's mouth or something. So so you actually you pinch that in and then you regulate it. Like I, like I showed you earlier, you just move it around until that balance arm is exactly lined up with this arm. And then you can do the movement like this. And this actually has a center to it as well. So there's one side on this side and then one side way over here. So move it a little more. And so there, it's pretty good there. So I would just do this again. And it swings that arm back and forth as a master. There's a jewel on the bottom of this as well. A jewel on the top, jewel on the bottom. It's pretty good. I can't actually remember who makes this one. But it's doesn't seem to have a name on it and when I look at it. Um, maybe if I look at it a little better, I'll find a name somewhere. But now, you know, there seems to be something in the bottom. But anyway, this is the device then for taking a hairspring and sizing it, making it 1,800 beats per, or 18,000 beats per hour, and um, adjusting the hairspring. So I made this video to to help anybody who's going to try this out and hopefully the video is useful enough to for you to be able to figure this out a bit and so I'll just keep making videos until people tell me to stop get that to touch there line that up like so move that over a bit like so move it forward a bit and move that over just like that and then move it there we go it's funny it actually looks off right now anyway that's it thanks a lot and i hope you enjoyed it um, if you have any questions just ask me and i'll see if i can answer them